Hi, I'm James. Uh, here's a little demo of my slick storage add-on for the Creality Ender 3, Ender 3 Pro, anyways, probably Ender 3 compatible too. Uh, so, in essence, it is a, uh, it started as a cover for the display assembly that hangs off of the side of the Ender 3 machines, which is obviously pretty exposed. And, uh, you know, it, it kind of changes the footprint of the whole machine. So this, I see this as an opportunity um, to kind of fill in the, the the slice of space that that invites to be filled to kind of round out the footprint. So I played with that and I iterated on it. And I, it was actually several iterations. I ran into a number of problems and I, I managed to kind of hack my way around them and then ended up doing like a couple kind of total ground up redesigns uh, before I found what I've settled on here that I think is actually pretty good. Uh, so there's two separate drawer uh, assemblies, uh, one that goes under the display and you can stop with just that one if you like. Uh, but there's another one that you can slide on from the back that, um, that adds a whole other, a compartment for drawers there's room for a, a, like a three high um, drawer shelf thing in the back uh, whereas in the front under the display you can fit in two drawers and then there's a little gap in the middle that I specifically uh, left open so that you can actually reach in there with everything installed and still adjust the uh, the metric screws or bolts that are back in there uh, which you shouldn't need access to, but uh, why block it? Uh, and so there's a bonus drawer uh, for that segment as well. Uh, so that's that's the assembly uh, and the, the, the drawers. And of course, you print the drawers that interest you. And, uh, uh, you know, it's up to you. You can print way more drawers than you need and outfit them with uh, different things that you want to have with your machine when you take it with you and go somewhere presumably and then you pick out the drawers uh, that fit that particular event or outing and load them in and away you go. Uh, in my case I thought a lot about how to uh, latch the drawers so that when in transport um, they can't possibly fly open and I didn't come up with a design that I felt uh, good about. And so for that, um, the cheesy hack that I do is I just put elastic bands uh, around the, the machine. Uh, so it's cheesy, but it's really easy and uh, it kept the design a lot simpler, I think, and also more so kind of maximize the storage volume within reason uh, that you get for the drawers. Uh, so that's it. Uh, I, it's on cults. Uh, 3D, um, you know, I spent a lot of time on this, uh, a lot of filament iterating and whatnot, so that's why it's a non-free model. Um, I hope people enjoy it, and uh, I'm willing to make modifications or add-ons or uh, extra things uh, if folks uh, inform me of what they want. Uh, I'll take a look and see what I can do. Uh, so that's all, and uh, tell me what you think.